Tyson Fury's back next week. Tyson Fury, Carl Frampton, Paddy Barnes. Decent card. Decent card put on by Frank Warren. Um, probably, I'm going to say it's the biggest card of the year for BT Sport. I think it's, because of name value, I think it could be bigger than Josh Warrington Selby. But that was a fantastic, like, just event. Honestly, just an event. The whole build-up. Um, Josh Warrington's ring walk, Lee Selby's ring walk, everything. Josh Warrington completely destroying Lee Selby. It was a great night of boxing. But I think this one, just because of Tyson Fury's continued comeback, Carl Frampton, find at Windsor Park, this is what he wanted, and Paddy Barnes going for a world title. It's probably his biggest um, card so far this year. Is it a sellout? I've not even checked. That will surprise me. And if it's not, I'm going to do a video on that because I think you still might be able to get tickets. And if you can still get tickets, again, this is all up in the air. I'm not sure if you can. But if you can, what does that say for Carl Frampton? Because this is only, what is it, a 14,000 seater? And again, you've got Tyson Fury on the card, Paddy Barnes, Carl Frampton. Um, I expect that to sell out. So it would shock me if it's not. And again, if it hasn't sold out, I think we might have to do a video on Carl Frampton. Because I do think... I do think that Carl Frampton's star power is on the decline just. And look, I'm not this isn't about Carl Frampton this video, so I'm going way left again, but I do I just kind of feel like it's not as big as it was two years ago. Again, two years ago his world champion fight Leo Santa Cruz. So if he gets to that stage again where he does fight Santa Cruz, Mars, Russell Jr., anyone like that, I guess it will jump straight back up again. Maybe people are just not excited because He's fighting this Jackson kid and not many people know about Jackson. Again, we're talking about a different subject. The subject I wanted to talk about was um, Tyson Fury. Um, and more about what do people expect from Tyson Fury this time round. This is his second fight now. Um, the first fight was, I guess the first fight was just about getting him in the ring. Getting him down in weight. Getting him, you know, kind of focused on boxing. And not some of the other stuff that's been going on outside of boxing in his life for the last two or three years so you can almost just chalk the first fight off what i want from the second fight and this is not even about boxing i just want to see a focused tyson fury right i want to see a mean tyson fury i want to see the tyson fury the mean one that turned up against klitschko and chisora again i'm not talking about physical prime tyson fury. i'm just talking about be mean i don't want to see him pick up someone at the weigh-in that pisses me off that kind of clown show bullshit I, I, I'm not a fan of it when it comes to boxing. I don't want to see him, you know, kind of fart about in the ring. Fart was the only word I could think of there. But you know what I mean? I don't want to see him doing it. I want to see a mean Tyson Fury. I want him to stare down Pianetta at the weigh-in. I don't want Pianetta to shit himself. I want him to go in the ring and do business. That's what I want first and foremost. Um, from a boxing standpoint, uh, again, we're talking about second fight back, nearly a three-year hiatus. So it's, it's going to be difficult to expect anything better than Sefa Safiri. I know he's lost a bit more weight. Um, Frank Warren's talking about maybe lost a stone, stone and a half since that Sefa Safiri fight. So he's taking it seriously. I mean, if you follow him on Instagram like I do, you see Instagram stories. He's always putting pictures of himself in the gym. He's doing weights. I don't think that's something he really did before. He's doing weights. He's doing a lot of cardio. So he's definitely trying to come down in weight. And he looks very sharp on the pads. Um, again, that's difficult to judge because you're only seeing sort of 10 or 15 second clips. But just for those clips alone, you can see that he's definitely sharper on the pads. So that's what I want to see. Tyson Fury is um, is a boxer more than a brawler. And I want to see him be sharp in this fight. I want to see him pick his punches. I want to see him use that long jab. I want to see him try and go to the body, try and throw combinations. And ultimately, I want to see him get Pianetta out there. Um, I don't want to see a corner stoppage. I don't want to see a ref. I want him to get him out there. I don't want him to kind of say, look, I'm back. Um, again, it's difficult. But with all this wilder talk, and uh, no one really knows if this wilder talk is serious or to hype up this fight. And it's done that, by the way, because there are rumors about Wilder being there. So, you know, they're, they're doing well. Frank, Deontay, and Tyson, they're keeping the name in the headlines. But of all the wilder talk, whether it is true, and let's say it is true for a second, he's got to look very, very good for fans to even think about it because right now and i've done a couple of videos on this i don't even want to see the wilder fight but if i see a very very good tyson fury then fuck me you know what 
why not roll the dice? But for me, I just want to see him serious. I don't want to see any more playtime. I want to see him do a job. And then I want to see him move on to the next one. Ideally, he, he fights again in October. And forget Wilder for a second. He, ideally, he fights in October and he fights someone like... Hmm, who's out there that he could fight that's top 20, top 25? These are risky fights, but I guess with him being the lineal champion and he always talks about this and with him saying he wants Joshua and Wilder, I mean, you're looking at someone like a Dupas, you're looking at someone like Hellenius, someone that is kind of solid top 25 that will, again, be a bigger test. Because then from a, a Dupas or a Hellenius, you then move into the top 15, top 20, and then it gets serious. But for me, I want to see him focused mentally. I want to see him in better shape. I don't think we're going to see a six pack, but it would be nice to see a two pack. Um, and I just want to see Tyson Fury do a job. If he does that, I'm happy. If he farts about in the ring and does all that bullshit, I just can't take it seriously. I really can't. And some people will say, okay, yeah, but he farted around the ring with Klitschko. But yeah, that was more of a mind game thing. Um, that wasn't a case of I'm just taking the piss because the opponent's that easy. That was a mind game. And I think it worked against Klitschko, against Pianetta, who's going to give him rounds. I just want to see him kind of put the pedal to the metal and get him out there as soon as possible. As they say in boxing, you don't get paid for overtime. I know some people are going to say, oh yeah, but Ade, he needs rounds. Fuck that. You don't get paid for overtime. Get him out of there. Do a job. Do what you do. Get on the mic. Call out someone. And let's get this show rolling again in October and November.